The last experiment we're going to do for this module is to model the principle behind an AC induction motor. Okay? Um, an AC induction motor is a motor that relies on the principle of Lenz law and a free rotating conducting rotor that's not electrically connected to the stator but is being pushed, forced to spin because it's chasing a rotating magnetic field. Right. At schools, there's, there's many ways to do it, um, to, do, to do this experiment. Uh, sometimes you would get maybe a string connected to a bar magnet and you would spin the bar magnet and you'll hold it close to a free rotating pi tin and then the pi tin should rotate. Um, but that's, that's pretty hard to do because the force, the, the magnetic field is very weak. Um, what, we're ex what we're instead going to do is we're actually going to have an actual AC induction motor. This is a single phase AC induction motor. Um, what we have here is we've got a free rotating, a freely rotating rotor in the middle, which is not electrically conducted, connected to any part of the stator. In fact, the whole thing doesn't have the whole motor itself does not have any electrical contacts. There's nowhere you can put electric ele electricity in. It's purely powered by a changing magnetic field. So what we have here is the apparatus to power it. We've got a little um, laminated iron core base. We've got the coil which we're going to put electricity through, AC current through. Now the AC that's powering this coil will generate an alternating magnetic field. So this magnetic field will go back and forth through the middle, through the middle of the coil. If we thread this through this, this um, base, then there will be an alternating magnetic field around the entire laminated iron core. If we complete this gap, complete this gap with the AC motor, what we will effectively be doing is we'll force the flux to flow back and forth across this rotor, causing it to spin in order to chase the changing magnetic field. Okay, so I'll um, I'll just attach this little alligator clip on here to make the rotation more obvious, so you can see it. And watch what happens when I connect power to it. It spins. It spins, although there is no electrical contact. There's no electrical contact between the power source and the actual motor. As soon as I complete the magnetic, oops, <laughs> as soon as I complete the magnetic um, magnetic circuit, I see that it spins. Let me try to get this. There you go. <laughs> and if I disconnect the power, it stops spinning. If I reconnect the power, it starts spinning again. Why? Because the freely rotating rotor is trying to chase the changing flux. The changing flux is behaving like a rotating magnetic field. Although it's a single phase AC induction motor, um, it's still effectively a spinning magnetic field that the rotor chases. Okay? Um, how it achieves this with a single phase is due to these little brown bits on the side. These brown bits on the side are called shader coils. All right, shader coils what they do is they weaken the, the strength of the magnetic field at certain locations causing the overall field to be rotating initially which gives it the initial torque that you need for AC induction motors. So this always spins in a single direction no matter what. Now, um, one cool thing is if I, connect, if I connect the power and I place the AC motor like this, it will still spin. It wants to spin, but it's rather weak. <laughs> it's rather weak. Let's see. If I connect it like this, it'll spin. See? It's still spinning, but it's much weaker. The reason why is because in this setup, the changing flux is being forced to flow like from here through the motor and then through air. See this gap, this gap of air to complete the flux circuit? Flux travels really inefficiently through air as opposed to through iron. Now, if I grab a block of iron and I bridge the gap oh, a bit longer so I grab a block of iron and I bridge the gap Which actually I should have I should have um, set it up like this so right now 
right now it's spinning rather slowly. If I grab a block of iron and I bridge the gap, it spins faster because the conduction of the flux suddenly becomes much more efficient along this side, along this line here, because now we have a block of iron, which is an excellent conductor of magnetic field, bridging the air gap. If I take it away, the flux is being forced to travel through air, and it loses a lot of energy here. Okay? Even better, if I complete it directly, it spins the fastest, like this, because the flux is only traveling through laminated iron core, which is even better conductor than a solid block. Okay, so that's an AC induction motor.